Okay. Aufnehmen. Okay, verstanden. Okay, okay gut. Ähm, danke, dass, danke, dass du hier gekommen bist. Und das ist ganz okay, wenn ich äh, duzen, ja? Ja, wenn auf, ich duze, auf okay. jeden Fall. Okay, danke. Ja. Okay, okay, okay. Also willkommen alle äh, bei meinem Kanal, auf meinem Kanal. Und ähm, das ist ganz, das hier ist ganz. Ähm, unregelmäßig, weil ich auf typisch auf Englisch spreche in, in meinem Kanal. Also ja, ich werde ab, ich werde einfach ein äh, Malis, Malis, ja, äh, mhm. willkommen ankommen. Also ja, <lacht> gerade wie du auf Englisch sprichst, kann ich, habe ich aber nicht so viel Erfließenheit oder das ist aber egal. Ja. Das ist egal. Wir verstehen uns gut. <lacht> ja, gut. Und jetzt bitte ich auf uh, nach Englisch wechseln. Okay. So, okay. So, um, it's okay. We can, like I said earlier, we can like switch back Switching and forth. Switching back. Ja, yeah, that's totally fine. Ja. Yeah. So, okay. um, besonders wenn du etwas nicht verstehen könnte, könntest mm -hmm. und ja, ja, also. Yeah. Sometimes okay. I sometimes I worry though that if I speak in German, like if it's like, ob es unhöflich ist oder ist höflich ist, ist ich bin unsicher. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not only with like the I words. Don't worry. It's really mm -hmm. about the body language, right? It's really uh, about that. Uh -huh. So so. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everything's um, fine. Okay. So here we have your, what we're going to do is we're going to look for first into the, uh, let's see if we have burst chart here. I know this is going to seem a little confusing because you're like, what is he doing? <laughs> All those things. But it's it's just part of the process. Like I, it's mm -hmm. part of the whole, it's a system thing, right? Yeah. Okay. So I have here your birthplace. Okay. So mm -hmm. your question, what was your main curiosity not the actual question but like you're you don't know if you should go or stay or sh you said you don't know if you should yes, stay or go right? the first question would be uh more like a yes or no question if it's uh yeah should i stay here in panama central america or is it oh uh, mm -hmm. i didn't actually catch that one i wasn't sure if you were asking me directly so i didn't draw up what you call an orary chart Because I wasn't ah. sure what your actual question was yet. Ah, so yes. what we can was, do is the main question was like, should I stay or should I go? Uh, is it good a good place here to be? I would like to be here, but I have uh, since I'm here, I had a lot of obstacles. Also, my health, relationship, everything, or my financials, everything is not in a good condition to say it like that. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. to see if. I love the country. I love my house here. I, I like the people here. I have some advantages to live here. But on the same time, my life is, uh, I have uh, some struggles. Um, I don't know if it's um, because of a process of uh, what what is more inside or it is just uh, maybe also energetical just not a good uh, place or not fitting to my energy or not supporting my energy. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. So, okay. Then what we're going to do is then uh, I kind of got the question. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. 1059. Okay. Usually it's when the astrologer understands the question and then they look at the time because You know, astrology is very time sensitive. Uh, so I'm going to put in today's date. See, I have, this is my, uh, my RRE profile. Like I actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, or maybe should I say or move maybe? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm going to change the time here. Yeah, and this is another question. Uh, move the country or just also move and sell my property and stay here? That is now 
maybe another plan. Uh, I try to sell my ah, house okay, right now. Okay, nothing okay. happened. But first, I want to know if um, the biggest question is first to be clear if Panama is a good country for me. A good place, okay. a good place to be. And then uh, if not, then I don't have to think about uh, yeah, another place here. Then it's more clear to move out of the country, you know. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Or what? Or kind of energies are here? What maybe it is? I don't know if it's so clear or. Yeah, okay. You will figure out. <laughs> okay. 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 That's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, oh, what, what, what am I doing? Sorry. One second. Um. Um, why am I getting all those things? Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is um, based on the what the chart's showing. So this is just for the my channel, but usually what happens here, we describe what's going on. Okay. The ascendant here is your that's where, that's you. You are represented mm -hmm. by the ascendant, and your question is a yes or no question. So that means that we look into where you're taught, what we were refer you're referring to. So you're saying moving. So that usually mm -hmm. would, is what you call it. It's in the ninth house. Are you familiar with astrology uh, terminology? Um, I'm a little bit confused because my ascendant sign is... Uh... No, this is not your birth chart. Ah, okay. This is something your birth different. Chart. No, ah, okay. No. okay. There's always saying, a chart. Oh. For, yeah, yeah. There's always a chart for everything. Yeah in ah, astrology okay yeah, ah, okay yeah. Mm -hmm. so your birth chart okay. is the one that describes the energy you came to in this to life the world yeah into yes, the light. yes 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 and then uh -huh. there are other there are other types of charts there are lots of millions and millions and billions okay. of types of charts yeah so depending on the situation okay. but in this case it's about your question so mm -hmm. it's it's this is a simple form of uh, astrology which is a kind of more divination like it, mm -hmm. It's a divination. Astrology is divination. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, and for those people, my mm -hmm. you know people on my channel, astrology is a form of divination. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So a orary is actually a, a an older form of astrology, much older than natal astrology, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and it works on these kind of things like questions, mm -hmm. yes or no, should mm -hmm. I, when, mm -hmm. uh, like if you have a lost item. You can ask me mm -hmm. those questions too. Like, mm -hmm. where did I put my car? Where is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. It has to be something mm -hmm. from the heart, though. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So, so we see mm -hmm. here it's the ninth house. It's uh, this is now representing your question. It's in the ninth house. So we have to look at uh Venus, which is the ruler of the ninth house here. So mm -hmm. Venus is in the twenty-three degrees Cancer. And I can see here um, that there are many possible yeses. So 23 degrees, it's actually an aspect to um, directly the, the what you call the uh, co-ruler of the question. It's called the co-ruler of the question. That's just the name. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. conjunct the moon. But the moon is actually, in this case, past the conjunction. Um, but it still applies. So in this case, um, but first we have to look at if there's any aspect from you, which is Mercury, and the question, which is Venus here. There's no aspect between them. Mm -hmm. um, however, um, Venus is conjunct the moon. So that means that it's a conjunction. So that means yes. Mm -hmm. This is a, but the question is still a question. Should I say or should I go? I, yeah, I would say I the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the my question. House or, for my, or for the country, that is a big difference. So my main question mm -hmm. here is, um, I know I should have reframed the question, which is going to be weird. What is mm -hmm. your actual question? Like in terms of, mm -hmm. um, 
should I should. stay in first should I stay in Panama or sh and then uh, should I stay in my I house or my property should I say or the next one would be should I sell my property ah okay uh, but first so. uh, should first I want to find out if Panama is a good good place to be for me to grow uh to develop my business, maybe to find a new uh, soulmate or partner, or a long term is a good place here for my for okay. all the things what I want to, um, yeah, develop okay. and yeah, just is Panama a good place? And then yeah, then yeah, should I stay? Or should I go? Uh, this is yeah, because it's it's if it's if it's, a, it's if it's your wavering between yes or no. That's not a direct question, technically, yeah. but you're, I think what mm -hmm. you're trying to say here, should I stay? That's your main mm -hmm. question. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the question here is the answer to that directly I see so far mm -hmm. is, oh, let me double check here. Um, hold on one second. I have like this cheat sheet, look for myself. The moon is Good job. I'm just wondering if there's a ascendant Saturn Mars. Nope, it's that's not it. Mutual reception. Is there a mutual reception? Nope, that's not it. It looks like the answer is yes. Perfect. So the answer to your question is you should stay. In, no, but that also answers your other mm -hmm. question. Should you sell your property? But that's a different question altogether. No, that's like, different. Uh, same, I can, same I chart. Want you, to can you, uh -huh. Yeah, we can look at I, the same chart, though. Mm -hmm. So the question is, the answer is yes. Should you stay? Mm -hmm. Um. Yes. But so your property is now referred to as from your fourth house your fourth mm -hmm. house is represented by uh here is jupiter rules your fourth house so we look at jupiter here and it actually makes a first of all a kind of a yes it's technically you should but you shouldn't also because jupiter actually squares the ascendant here so what's happening here is one second here double checking it looks it's both a yes and oh actually hold on ascendant jupiter venus but jupiter venus is not there jupiter venus is on the right here mid heaven The answer would also still be yes, because you have, yeah, it's just that. Um, so you are, you technically you are staying there, but you also can sell your house. I could sell, uh -huh. but uh -huh. yeah, the last weeks or the last few months, I had some mm -hmm. interested people, but yeah, it um, still no selling and yeah okay. i just want to figure out me another thing is to keep it and um yeah to to grow my financials or yeah to come to earn more uh, or to save money and then uh -huh. in the future to buy to build tiny houses here or this oh, is yeah, another yeah. idea to develop because i had a huge uh, one and a half acre uh, property so there's a lot of space um yeah this could be also a perspective but it could also be a perspective to uh, to let go because i'm living here alone on this uh, huge finger for me is a lot of work also so i'm a little bit i love this place i have mountain view i'm really happy and it's not too far from the town and not so much in the countryside. It's perfect, but 
yeah still um I think yeah I ha I'm uh, sometimes some days I just say oh yes I want to have something new or do, find a new place here and other time I think oh it's so beautiful here and I love my house I made also the uh, construction and I was building and it's a lot of my heart went into that so yeah, uh, yeah. it's both uh -huh, uh -huh. both is possible for me and so I'm always uh, switching between my ideas and then I have ideas oh, I want to go to Europe back uh, back to Europe uh, and uh -huh. live maybe in Spain and I'm closer to my family and my friends in Germany and they could visit me more frequently or mm -hmm. yeah that is all going up in my mind what are the perspectives yeah um it's because yeah so whatever you decide really it's there's no wrong decision because mm -hmm. you we you know the thing about decisions is that sometimes we think we make the wrong or right decisions mm -hmm. those are human constructs mm -hmm. those are all like fiction whatever you decide mm -hmm. it will still if you're straying away from your what just what the soul decided to to do for this life Mm -hmm. you'll be you'll be nudged back you'll be like nudged they'll be nudging you back into the same path mm -hmm. anyways so mm -hmm. whatever you decide it's still fine but the answer that okay. the chart is showing what the stars are showing is that there is a big mm -hmm. yes well, not a big yes but yeah yeah mm -hmm. so it's possible mm -hmm. and then you said you is is uh is the country a good place for you mm -hmm. your your other question was that um yeah. i would say mm -hmm. Uh, let's take a look because it's still about the f Jupiter. It's still represented. Mm -hmm. It's Jupiter's right here. It's in sextile to you as a quest, as a you the as a questioner. The the, mm -hmm. the, the you know, so the, you're the querent actually in or Irish world. They call the querent, and this is the quesited. So you're asking about your home. So, but you're also talking about relationships right you said mm -hmm. is this good okay mm -hmm. then we would have to hmm. let me double check here i think it's the third the fifth house one second here um... okay so third no Fifth house is no seventh house. Okay. Ah, okay. So marriage. Yeah. So the seventh house. So here the seventh house is Pisces. It's ruled by Jupiter as well. So the same question applies. And the same mm -hmm. answer applies to your question. Is this a good place for me to stay and mm -hmm. to find the partner? Yes. Mm -hmm. The answer mm -hmm. is still yes here. Yeah, so it's in it's because you're represented by Mercury, it's Jupiter. Jupiter also rules the the seventh house here. So the answer is yes. Ah, oh, okay. Uh-huh. So <laughs> mm -hmm. but if okay. you should if 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 your question was should you move, mm -hmm. you would still you would still go into I would say you would still go into a yes because it's the your Venus represents the ninth house that represents moving, like mm -hmm. long distance moving. Um, then mm -hmm. uh, it's conjunct to the moon. So that means, yeah. It's also possible, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so both are it's good. Not, both are but, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, okay. what, so that means what I think, what mm -hmm. I didn't know, what, whatever you interpret as that, that's up to you. But mm -hmm. I would say like, take it with like a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Does that, as, mm -hmm. is that okay? Are you, do you have any more questions connected to this? um no right now no okay 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 cool okay cool so we can move on but uh now we go into um the places that you could be interested in that might mm -hmm. you know but be interesting to you so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into several energies we're gonna look at a bigger map it's mm -hmm. basically it's your astro map Oh, what's going on here? Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, where are you? Here we go. Okay, here we go. 
wait for it to load. There we go. Okay. So you're, I, this is just a, <laughs> this is called astrocartography. Mm -hmm. Um, it just shows me what places are good for you. So I'm going to take a look at on my end. You're not going to see it. I'm going to open up your own birth chart. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see, first of all, seeing him. Um, Okay. Oops. That's not, okay. Here we go. So you have. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, where is your? We want to look into Jupiter. Okay. So you mm -hmm. have Jupiter in your sixth house. Um, it's in Gemini. Uh, that's nice. Okay. Good. Uh, good. Um, you have like potentially um need to you need to okay I'll explain that later mm -hmm. I I like the Jupiter uh -huh. placement it's in your sixth house but uh -huh. we want to kind of keep it there maybe but you're thinking about okay let's just look at the certain places that we have here one second okay so we have to look into your Jupiter line um. Uh, this one here. So several places you can think of. First of all, mm -hmm. if you're going to move, it's closer to your Jupiter line right here. So we Okay, this in. would be uh, California? <laughs> uh, it could be any of that line. If it's close uh -huh. to that line, like Las he said, oh, no, Mexico. I'm not, I'm not feeling attracted to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's fine no no no. you don't have to stay there you don't have to go there you can go up north if you want to uh -huh. alco is an option um uh -huh. yeah but i'm not i'm not i don't know i never plan to go to united states <laughs> okay uh um, to, to live there that would be not an option for me I okay think. well there's always canada well as long as yeah. it's as long as it's in that line uh-huh um you, your Jupiter will be will be activated. Oh. It'll be different. So yeah. what I can do is actually I'm gonna go. Let me close. I don't know what to do in in Canada. <laughs> That's it's fine. Cold, it's cold in the winter there. <laughs> you like yeah, you like it warm, right? Oh, yes, so. I like it warm. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Yeah, you like it you like it comfortable, you like it secure, mm -hmm. but you also like it warm. Okay. Yes. You can see that. Okay. Uh let's see. Uh one second here. But we're gonna do oh, that's not the one I want. What I always say is one of my slogans, never say never. I, I don't know what happens in life, but if I don't know a person living there for just out of the blue, I would not move just because it's a Jupiter line. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So if you don't feel called to those places, that's totally fine. You don't have to go to North America. It's just... You don't have to just stay for, here. Just yeah. for vacation or for traveling, but for living, uh, it's not yeah. my country. Okay. There are several places. This is still your Jupiter line. Uh -huh. The pink, the pinkish the, one is still your Jupiter pink, line. Pink. So what that means is that people might think that Jupiter mm -hmm. lines is like Jupiter is like positive. It's like expansion, it's growth, it's... um. Mm -hmm. Uh, expand. What is that? Expansion, growth, fortune. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the word benefit comes from that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just it's good for business as well. But it depends on your chart. Your chart is going to be moving. What's going to happen is your chart is going to be moving, and it's going to mm -hmm. just kind of reflect what is like anywhere you go. You're going to carry your birth chart energy. But mm -hmm. where it's going to take place is going to change depending on where you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is how this is how astrocartography works. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you feel called to Portugal area. 
maybe yeah, south of uh -huh, the agave is there this in the south yeah you can do okay. you can do morocco okay. uh, no. uh -huh. like, uh, but, uh -huh. there are the spanish islands the canary can um what is called? yeah uh, the canary there are, uh -huh. yes there uh-huh las palmas de la de gran uh -huh. canaria Canaria, uh -huh. Canaria <laughs> whatever, example, sure. Ten Tenerife, La Palma. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can look into this one. Mm -hmm. Fuerteventura, um, uh, but if not so, there. Uh, La Palma mm -hmm. could be interesting because it's a little bit more green. Uh, I like also to have it green, and it's just uh, I don't know. La Palma, Lanza, Lanzarote and Fuerteventura I have a lot of uh, especially Lanza, uh, so very much stones from vo volcan from the vol volcano volcan. Oh, okay. Vol okay volcano yeah so what we're gonna do yeah, is we're but gonna I, see... I also prefer to not to be on a mainland and um, maybe Mallorca is another island but there's not the Jupiter land Mallorca I like more then the Canarian Islands is also a Spanish island, uh, but okay. in the um, yeah, there was uh, Palma. Yeah, pa uh -huh. Palma is yeah, Palma, Palma is on your moon. Palma is in your moon line. And uh -huh. and also so this goes to mm -hmm. the part of Spain a little bit more up. Uh, which I really like uh, below uh, the uh, in the south of um, France. Uh, you, ca uh, you can go a little bit more up. Yeah, uh, over Barcelona. I like this area between mm -hmm. Barcelona and the French border. G the all about around Girona. This is Catalonia. Is a uh -huh. part of Spain. It's called yep. Catalonia. Yep. And um, this I like very much, but also below Barcelona, this, this part to down to Valencia. Uh, these are my favorite um, spots in Spain and Palma de Mallorca, but I don't know about these two lines. Yeah, the moon line you told me uh, is something good above uh, well, Barcelona. What I'm what I'm trying to get here is that I need I need to get to a specific place and we need to choose one place mm -hmm. at a time. Because we're kind of right now we're going everywhere. <laughs> ah, okay. okay so, so what about uh, uh, because it's around Girona? You see it the, uh, sure. on the uh, um, uh, above Barcelona around mm -hmm. um, this area uh, around Girona. Okay. What is so, there then? Uh huh. In that. Well, I'm not going to see. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to see it here right away. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to. I'm your chart needs to be drawn up. But I need to see which, I don't know, which one resonates with you most. Mm -hmm. So this area, you said? Uh -huh. Can we choose Barcelona? Uh -huh. Can we choose Barcelona right now? Okay. Oh, Barcelona, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to choose that one. So what that's going to do is going to change your birth chart. Like it's going to make it like mm -hmm. look different. Um, let's see here. Okay. All objects. Uh, we want your descending node as well. Uh, I'm going to go with the basic chart, and I'm going to add later the other. I I like to use specific asteroids too with mm -hmm. the chart because it. I use a lot of chart. I use a lot of asteroids. I, I use a lot, like over fifty, in addition to oh, the other twelve oh. or eleven. It's uh -huh. I use a lot. So what that does is very specific things we can figure out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is basic. So it's showing me that um, it's not much different from your own birth chart. It's moved up a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. So with your moon line, you, it's going to emphasize two, two things. There's going to be your Neptune and your moon line. Naturally, mm -hmm. you have your own chart that looks similar to this one. I'm actually going to look at it myself separately. Okay, mm -hmm. so in your own birth chart, the moon is in your third house. Uh, here, the moon is now in your fourth house. That signifies that you'll feel more comfortable, more at home, rather than it's trying to explain yourself to anyone. Like family, people you mm -hmm. become close to are really, really comfortable with. Mm -hmm. The moon is now is in your 
it's the moon will be in you if you go to barcelona it's gonna feel like that it's gonna feel a little bit more like home it's gonna mm -hmm. feel more like in line with your 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 whether well, your neptune is gonna come off uh, closer to your ascendant so people mm -hmm. uh it's still gonna be retrograde so that means it's still gonna feel like okay um it's gonna feel like you still don't know how to exp like package yourself like to to what do you call this so that others mm -hmm. you which is what you want people to see you as typically mm -hmm. you have that already you don't know that but because mm -hmm. it's an op because it's opposite of jupiter um there's a sort of a confusion in terms of like how you present yourself specifically mm -hmm. to you on an unconscious level uh -huh, uh -huh. to yeah. others specifically like the mm -hmm. workplace uh people mm -hmm. volunteering even your health might kind of feel you're uncertain about your health oh right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. um because Jupiter, first of all, we have Jupiter here in your sixth house. So that's a lot of good things, right? No, normally, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's in Gemini. So what happens is your health tends to waver. It goes like this all the time. Changes oh, a lot, okay. quite mm -hmm. often. Um, it is opposite of Neptune. So again, it'll be like infections. Mm -hmm. you, you're kind of like little things though, or, or rather it's kind of subtle. Mm -hmm. The things that come to your body that infect you are very subtle mm -hmm. little things. Mm -hmm. um, but you kind of have to learn how to balance that because that means that you, because you, maybe you tend to get um, excited sometimes. Like you, 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 part of your ascendant, you embody in like kind of, you question your own visions, your own dreams and your inspirations, mm -hmm. like where you want to go, your idealism, you kind of question mm -hmm. that. And that yeah. comes off as your, like the way you talk already, when you talk to me, uh -huh. yeah. I can tell you, uh -huh. you have this sort of like, not nervous, but uh -huh. kind of like the, uh -huh. the Neptune it, rules. Not, uh, yes. Doubts yeah. or doubts. Yes. Of doubts. Neptune. Yeah. Neptune rules the nervous system. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you have this sort of like, it's not sporadic, but it's kind of like, it's not focused. It's kind of like yes. here uh -huh. and then goes here and then yeah, here and then uh -huh. here and then here, everywhere, right? Yeah. So what that does, it what does that actually contributes to how you your health is. So mm -hmm. you've had to learn how to balance this and kind of be more grounded, mm -hmm. right? And being more mm -hmm. logical sometimes instead of just relying mm -hmm. on inspiration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What this also shows mm -hmm. me is that you're, because of the family you grew up with, um, they were always more about talk, 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 talk. There was a lot of no action. There was just a lot of information, a lot of mm. um, maybe indecisiveness as well. There wasn't a lot of like, you know, inspiration. Mm. There wasn't a lot of like philosophy. There wasn't a lot of direction no, going. Yeah. No, no, and so not, what happened? But they were hard workers with their hands. More, they were not philosophical or. Mm -hmm. I don't know, yes. in a higher idea yeah. or, yeah. Yeah, they're very uh -huh. basic. They're kind of, very, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. And so what happens uh -huh. is that your sub, you sub, as a child, you subconsciously repress that. You disown, you disown, repressed, rejected all that stuff. And so what mm -hmm. happens is that you still get people who are like that in your life, unless mm -hmm. it changed. You know, we, that's a different chart we look into. That's your progression mm -hmm. chart. See how much mm -hmm. you've changed. Mm -hmm. But we're not here for that. Um, so, but your Jupiter is not conjunct the descendant line in your own chart, your Jupiter, I believe is conjunct your descendant. So that means you're in, you have a bit more room for comfort in Barcelona. You would have a bit more room for, to be more like comfortable, be more like yourself. Mm -hmm. Right, you have your moon conjunct Mars naturally, mm -hmm. so you'll be able mm -hmm. to express even your anger, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, at home. Um, mm -hmm. but you don't necessarily express it because you, you you tend to have this sort of a struggle when you question your own inner power, specifically. Mm -hmm. Like, this is this is called the parental axis your mm -hmm. IC and your MC are the parental mm -hmm. axis, so it ties to mm -hmm. your core beliefs. And your mm -hmm. core beliefs were growing up, 
means that you were um, kind of expected to be, you were kind of the emotional person in the family, Mm -hmm. right? And so, and that ties into Mm -hmm. your feeling powerless or doubting your own inner power Mm -hmm. when it comes to your career, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about security. The parental Mm -hmm. access is all about security. Mm -hmm. So, but in Barcelona, you still have that you might still have that but at very least you would still be you would actually feel more at home being able to express yourself not necessarily Mm -hmm. talking you don't need to be explaining anything you just be you're just you know Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. um yeah very interesting Mm -hmm. yeah Uh, let's see what else we have here. Is it Saturn? I'm and looking at two charts of, right now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. In terms of relationship to get not a romantic <laughs> ones, just uh, like connect with people there. This is also important to feel home. If you could connect uh, to the people uh-huh. around. Okay, we'll take a look awesome. at that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, first of all, we have here the basic Mercury in retrograde. So I can see also why you talk the way you do. Because you're very doubtful, like you have a there's a, a certain awkwardness, insecurity about how you express yourself. Mm-hmm. You're very you like you like you like base you like very um, direct answers. You like very factual answers, but you kind of still doubt your way of communicating. Typically, before I, when you were born or as you grew older, um, your ability to express yourself was kind of there was a lot of wounding that came from that mm-hmm. because people like wondering why is she talking like that mm-hmm. but and you kind of like right you, you, it, it became part of your self-worth and it's like uh oh. mm-hmm. um but before it was more hidden it was hidden mm-hmm. you didn't know how to really express yourself because mm-hmm. you were there's a lot of nervousness in the way you express yourself it's like a nervous energy like you had to balance how mm-hmm. you how your relationships specifically with communities and friends Mm -hmm. any groups even like the the money you earned like your Mm -hmm. income from your boss if you had bosses Mm -hmm. back then or employers Mm -hmm. there's a lot of uncertainty about that it was um uh you kind of got trapped you felt kind of trapped like you didn't know how you had to find your own inner individuality in that community and you had to balance that with how you express yourself but it was very Mm -hmm. hidden but here in Barcelona, even though you still go through that stuff, you'll be able to be a little bit more expressive, a little mm-hmm. bit more expressive in Barcelona. You'll still have those mm-hmm. like trauma-based like experience of like not being mm-hmm. able to be yourself, but at the very least, you'll be able to express yourself. So not much mm-hmm. of a difference mm-hmm. in Barcelona. Mm-hmm. There's a slight mm-hmm. difference in your behavior there. So mm-hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to just go into your chart here and i'm going to add the other planets okay we call them planets in astrology okay the other asteroids see there's lots <laughs> i'm going to add it to this one um, um one question um yeah. now mm-hmm. we make for barcelona and yeah. i would not live in a big town i'm more the country girl yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh-huh. um, but if i move a little maybe like 100 kilometers north from barcelona or south or mm-hmm. it no, it's not making a big difference now from what you are telling me right now right mm-hmm. yeah yeah is yeah it's just yeah like this field around barcelona okay okay mm-hmm. okay all right um yeah not much of a difference but um okay. what we're going to go into now is go a little deeper uh-huh. so i can see here right away juno um, you question commitments to your relationships. You you, oh, you you might still question that there in Barcelona. I I don't know what it looks like in your chart because your chart look your own birth chart looks a little different from this mm-hmm. chart. Um, but what I can see is that your sun, uh, opposite of Juno means that you have to balance what you're kind of loyal to like it's a long-term commitment usually this ties in with maybe you question your if you trust if you trust this person any person any i don't know if you're in i don't know if you're into guys girls or either or both or you're maybe you're maybe you're demisexual or asexual doesn't matter 
Um, so the commitment that you have, you question that. And it's kind of like, especially with people you meet um, like in communities. Mm -hmm. And that in turn reflects your own identity. It's like you're saying, I don't feel secure in this. So maybe in the past, you kind of had to break it off relationships because they were uncertain. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just a general thing. We're talking about romantic stuff. But but Juno represents long-term relationships. We're talking like marriage. We're talking like mm -hmm. lifelong stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but we also have to look back into the seventh house, right? There's nothing here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it just a little bit because you're talking about relationships. That's your question, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it just a little bit. And I think we're going to keep, um, let's see here some no we're going to focus on the seventh house okay and i'm going to add a bunch of asteroids that i work with personally so there's there's going to be three parts to this okay mm -hmm. okay ah okay ah <laughs> ah okay um have you had same sex relationships? No. Okay. It feels like this ties in with necessarily same sex. It doesn't have to be like that. It could be just like loyalty, like mm -hmm. really like unwavering loyalty, friendship, intimate, really like mm -hmm. unconditional connections. Mm -hmm. It actually ties into your North Node right here, which mm -hmm. also ties into your career. If you, when you find someone who you can really connect with, Mm -hmm. that'll flow even more however however mm. there is this square here to daphne mm, that would be so a that, very big wish that would be amazing <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah. it's it's actually sappho this is sappho squares uh -huh. daphne and clitia so daphne and clitia conjunct there first of all means that you um uh there's a uh, you're very discerning in how you connect with someone mm -hmm. like communicationally speaking like with clitia also means like unrequited love clitia is about unrequited love it means if they don't return your love if they don't return your interest it's going to be kind of a struggle a mm -hmm. challenge so to speak mm -hmm. rather of being mm -hmm. able to communicate and flow when you understand each other where mm -hmm. But it could also mean that they want to chase you rather than you chase them. Mm -hmm. So, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be quite a challenge. But once you work through those challenges, if you find someone where you can be the one who's chasing, but also not chasing, kind of in between, because you have your moon in Aries, right? You feel at yes. home with someone who's like very energetic, someone who's assertive, uh -huh. someone who is lots, mm -hmm. it's very curious and very present. Mm -hmm. um so it just it just yeah because you like this you're a very idealistic when it comes to yes uh -huh. you can when it comes to your in this case your idealism comes through how you communicate with someone you want someone to understand you for just how like your 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 what do you call this not frantic like your your energy your energy is different right so with this, with this position here with Clitia and Daphne, it's that whole, again, that it's good that you have that there because that means you question what isn't right for you, you know, what is worth it. Like sometimes you don't want to put your energy into something that's like, mm, they're not reciprocating because it doesn't work mm -hmm. that way, right? A relationship is that mm -hmm. you are two whole beings, whole beings, mm -hmm. and you, you're, you're sharing your life together. It's not, mm -hmm. I'm completing you, you complete me. No, yes. it doesn't work that way. No, no, it doesn't work that no. way. And it would be boring. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're sharing, right? So, mm -hmm. But that yeah. will be kind of a challenge there, right? So let's but, see. Uh, so, right mm -hmm. now, to understand, you're talking about the energy in Barcelona or in general about me? No, you, your energy, this will be your in, in general, general energy uh, in uh, Barcelona. In, in, yeah. uh, uh, in Barcelona, that was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Not the city, not uh -huh. the city itself, but your uh -huh. energy uh -huh. there. Yes, my energy there. 
Yeah, What's... and it was so interesting later to look uh, to compare to the place where I am now. That would be amazing to have an idea what um, to compare. Yeah, uh, we can uh -huh. stay here, but later compare to the place here in Panama, the yeah. next big city here, and look what are the differences or what do sure. you find. Yeah, we can do that. It would yeah. be interesting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm still going to stick to your question because this is about yes, love, yes, yes, right? of course, so, yeah, yes, about love and yeah. Okay, yes. so uh -huh. we have here also Penelope and Proserpina. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Penelope is uh, like unwavering loyalty. Um, you naturally would want that in your relationship, someone who you can actually communicate with. Uh -huh. Yeah. So don't worry too much about what I'm talking about. I'm gonna I'm well, gonna explain this one word I did not understand what you said. I don't know. Oh, just to commit <laughs> you want someone who you can communicate to on a very you know practical way. It's very it's Gemini, right? Uh -huh. Um but someone someone who's loyal to yes. just being able to communicate. This is why when you talked to me, when you were text, you were saying a lot of things and you like that. You, uh -huh. you you actually that's how you relate with people by communicating. Uh -huh. yes. Right? Uh -huh. yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, I'm very open. Uh, when yes. if I open up, then I'm very open. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So uh -huh. we also have here Proserpina. Proserpina is the the Roman equivalent to um what was her name? Uh Persephone. But Proserpina mm -hmm. is slightly different mm -hmm. from Persephone, where she was more about adaptation. So here you're going to learn how to mm -hmm. adapt to people, how you communicate in relationships mm -hmm. in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is typically your journey anyways. Um, but it is actually also, there's several things here. It's per Penelope, though, however, is trying to your, what is that one here? I'm confused. Trying to one second. Oh, trying to your south node. So sometimes based on your because your south node in the past, you were so used to you're so used to you're used to being that kind of like uh, kind of a in a leadership position or like being assertive, uh, pioneering, being present very curious about life right you're, mm -hmm. you're just a natural thing you carried over from your past life it also means that you were probably like a daredevil mm -hmm. your risk you take risks mm -hmm. um you definitely were a leader um mm -hmm. you you probably were also like a warrior like you fought mm -hmm. for things you're very you know this aggressive nature assertive aggressive at the same time that's your past mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. um but so you carry that over as a skill today. The skills you carry over today means that you naturally have that energy still. Mm -hmm. And it comes naturally to you. Yes. The goal is, I of course. You, uh, maybe, I don't know if it's true, but uh, I can relay that uh, I feel it like a masculine energy in, inside yes. me. Yes. That's what it is. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. But what you're, what you're being called to do is not that. No, oh, it's no, I, I, I know it's that I have that. it, but it's not yeah. like that I want it so much. I want to more to yes. flow and more in the female energy. But it's for me, uh, the masculine is more uh, in the past. It was more, uh, how to say the right word? It was closer to me. It was familiar. It was more familiar yeah. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So... But where now what your your soul is asking you to do is, or that you decided to do, what you're learning on this lifetime mm -hmm. is to mm -hmm. use use those gifts and not the negative stuff, you know, mm -hmm. not the low energy stuff. Mm -hmm. Use those gifts towards um, working through what is, uh, what do you call this? The, the hard work that you put into life in terms of specifically like relationships, communication, balance harmony because mm -hmm. you have bacchus here retrograde mm -hmm. right and it's in libra libra your your journey to this this is why now i understand why you're being called and you're asking about relationships and i was oh. like oh, okay so your journey is to 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 learn more about how to relate with my people. Lo more uh, 
uh, yes. yeah, I don't know. Yes, but in this case, sometimes you kind of, you don't know whether you question your ability to appreciate what you work hard for. You question mm -hmm. it. And, mm -hmm. but that's what you're learning. You have to, it's one of those things. Um, mm -hmm. We'll go into that later because this we're not talking about path here. We're talking about Barcelona. But mm -hmm. I see here, this placement shows me that something to do with winery, uh, farming, uh, an orchard, maybe something with orchard, something to do with wine, bread making, farming, mm -hmm. those kind of stuff. That kind of ties in with your path today. But anyways, so you have Penelope there. So it's all, and Proserpina. So, but we also have from the previous chart, Sappho, so the loyalty, uh, like unconditional, intimate relationships, it's still going to be part of this process. You're going to have um, challenges with communication. Um, in fact, nope, oh, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just being general, actually. I'm not even going to really specific stuff. We're not even talking about marriage, actual marriage contracts, because that's still seventh house. That's still the seventh mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. And it's still about marriages and contracts, partnerships, any form of partnership. Mm -hmm. um, that's the seventh house. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a bit more. We're going to do this one little chart here and see what we find in your seventh house in Barcelona. <laughs> in Barcelona. <laughs> oh, let's go right. back. Oops, sorry. Oops. Um, all right. Ooh, okay, I see here right away. Okay, several things. Okay, <laughs> one second here. <laughs> Let me explain. So okay. there are several things that's going to happen to there. So, ooh, heavy stuff. Okay, so you okay. have Aphrodite. <laughs> First of all, uh -huh. the seventh house is going to be Nessus. So Nessus is potential for abuse. Oh. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. so that means that it means that, uh, let me double check my chart here my own sorry my own cheat sheet abuse mm -hmm. and trauma mm -hmm. um so what's this one either people will manipulate i don't know if you've used to you're used to having that but you're probably still going through that sometimes in life where you had to balance um, trusting. You have Dejanira. Dejanira was the wife of Hercules. She mistakenly, and this is mythology. This is where we base mm -hmm. our information from. There's truth in myth mythology because it's mm -hmm. your archetypes. archetypes. Mythology, yes. uh -huh. your archetypes uh -huh. in real human experience. Yeah. So uh -huh. Dejanira is sometimes like a bit of um. she's kind of like an innocent. She's kind of naive. <laughs> And so it became part of this process where you had to balance um, being able to, let's say, I guess, trust the relationships or rather being yourself. Because here's what I find in my research on Dejanira is she's about uh, imposed and or toxic love or marriage. Um, so what that means in terms of your own uh, what do you call this? In your own, it was in your, it's in your first house here. It's will, it was in your first house in, I believe it was in your first house in the, your own birth chart, but it was more about mm -hmm. self-worth. Here in Barcelona, mm -hmm. it's not so much about self-worth. It is more about being yourself and kind of being committed to the work that you put in, especially with your career. It's in Capricorn. Mm -hmm. It's related mm -hmm. to career. It's related to reputation ego mm -hmm. as well it's mm -hmm. related to um success mm -hmm. uh, any sort of vocation career um mm -hmm. and so but it's in retrograde so that means that there's a part of you that questions the work that you put in i mean mm -hmm. that's already shows up in the bacchus in the north node right mm -hmm. so there that, that was north node um so dejanir here is opposite of nessus so it feels like maybe um you'll still carry in with you this energy of like people you feel maybe there's abuse in relationships because they don't respect your own i guess you're kind of uh what do you call that erratic 
I don't know if it's erratic. That's not the right word for that. You're you're you have a different energy. You have you're very assertive, right? So, um, it, you are kind of you've always kind of experienced that throughout life, where people yes maybe mm -hmm. misused you for your mm -hmm. for your the way you hard you work hard, and mm -hmm. they didn't really. Mm -hmm. it, it was kind of subtle too. It mm -hmm. was it's in cancer, so that means that it was something to do with emotions, family. Mm -hmm. like mm. things that you so that carries over to relationships mm. we're talking like long-term relationships mm -hmm. agreements that you have with mm. and this also means like contracts marriages mm. um uh so it's you you have to have to work through that and say whatever questions you have about your own um especially with your health like this is your body this is jejunir is in the first house So anything that you work hard towards for your general health, your appearance, mm -hmm. your body, um, things that you start that are things that are what called new things that you start, like adventures or adventures, things that you uh expeditions, set of so things that you're curious about. And you kind mm -hmm. of like you sometimes wonder if you should stick to it. Right. Mm -hmm. You already kind of been doing it when you when you talked about like, I don't know, I should do this, should I move here? Mm -hmm. Should I go there? Mm -hmm. So sorry if I'm speaking a little too fast, but no, no, I understand completely. <laughs> okay, so, uh... so good. Um, mm -hmm. so Dejanira is showing that to me, but we also have here. I don't know if you saw that. We have here a what you call a grand. This is a heavy one. A grand, uh, cardinal square, and this square right here, all the way down to the moon, this section right here, means that in Barcelona. You'll probably come across, um, especially in a home environment, uh, where you had to had this lust for life, and just you just kind of wanted to, you know, just want to be. There's a bit of uh, manipulation that's happening in, in your home life. There's probably manipulation that was happening, um, and you kind of felt like. Again, out of place, power struggles, a lot of toxic, and it's a toxic environment. Possibly, mm -hmm. you had to learn how to work mm -hmm. with that toxicity, mm -hmm. but you, it, mm -hmm. you wasn't, you were not sure about it. You didn't know how to hone that inner power. Um, but mm -hmm. that in turn squared this grand square to Nessus and Dejanira. You had to work through those all that abuse, and mm -hmm. you'll carry that over into Barcelona. If you have worked on it, if you work through your inner child trauma, if mm -hmm. you work through the issues of the past, especially because your fourth mm -hmm. house is heavy, you have a lot of heavy stuff in your fourth house. Chiron mm -hmm. is there, your Mars is there, your Venus is there, your South Node is there. Mm -hmm. So it pulls you towards, you get pulled towards very South Node stuff, like your past almost comes through. So what I would say that means is that that needs to be healed in mm -hmm. order for you to release true inner power. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you can sit, you can find like your real vocation. Mm -hmm. This is the tenth house. This is MC. Mm -hmm. This is vocation. Mm -hmm. This is career. Mm -hmm. But it also means that you'll open up more of your north node, the path moving forward. Things that you're mm -hmm. afraid of doing. That will actually be like, oh, now I know where I'm supposed to go, right? Mm -hmm. It it'll take time, but you need to work on. It's an inner child mm -hmm. wounding trauma, mm -hmm. I think, that you need to work mm -hmm. on. So those are the things you have a lot of things like regarding like commitment, self worth, um, family issues, inner child trauma, trauma general trauma abuse, um, violence possibly also physical not necessarily mm -hmm. I'm not going to say physical violence, but yeah. So that's that's the area of relationships because relationships mm -hmm. aren't just relationships they're tied to. Mm -hmm. family did you know mm -hmm. that when we work on relationships it actually reflects family mm -hmm. is our first relationships mm -hmm. so whatever yes, we get from course. our yes yes mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so that's mm -hmm. the general gist of it any questions mm -hmm. yeah um just uh such like uh for me it's now a feeling that is not a very supportive place for relationships it is just more bringing up or i have to work through more of these old energies like i i 
I don't know. Of course, I I did a lot the last uh, two decades of inner child healing and things, and mm -hmm. uh, but well, I have the feeling that is um, yeah, it sounds not so like it's so helpful well, for me to be there. Well. well. <laughs> You were choosing this place. Remember, I was going uh -huh. with your Jupiter line. Uh -huh. You were going with this one. So, um, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, if you wanted to try that, we can do that. But I was following you. I was trying to follow your Jupiter line. Yeah, that so, one, but it's uh, maybe, I don't know. That, that is. Uh, so let's take a look. But it's a whole, it's interesting because this, this moon line is a whole uh, coast of Spain, which I was interested in. Yeah. The, it goes down the whole coast is i think it's not a, a... yeah because i think what's happening here is you need something cooler mm -hmm. maybe You're, it's better oh, to go to the jupiter line to the north path not, uh, not, not, of not only Spain. That. yeah mm -hmm. not only that because generally speaking what's happening you have a lot of fire and then your next element is earth uh -huh. you mm -hmm. have very low water uh -huh. Yes, I know. Yes, I, this yeah. I know so from what my you need to, uh -huh. So what needs? To, what you also need air. So you need air and water. This is why you and I are kind of opposite. Uh -huh. I have a lot of air and water. Uh -huh. So I need more heat, but I'm afraid uh -huh. of heat. Uh -huh. But I need to face it. So for you, it's the opposite. You need to face cool. You need to face, you know, kind of more grounded emotions. You need uh -huh. to more logical emotions. Yours is more uh -huh. like. It is emotions, but it's different. It's inspiration. You're full of inspiration. You're full of that uh -huh. kind of, right? So you need to change that a little bit. You're being called to be more grounded through your mm -hmm. through the mind and really hone in what that means. What is mind? What is that, mm -hmm. right? So if mm -hmm. we followed your Jupiter line, I think it'll mm -hmm. give you more opportunities. Um, uh -huh. But actually, I'm going to look back into your chart and see what this is. What if we followed? We don't. Yeah, Jupiter line is quite good for moving because Jupiter rules foreign, uh, foreign like traveling. It also rules moving. It also mm -hmm. uh, rules uh, languages, foreign people, mm -hmm. big business as well. So for mm -hmm. we have to follow your Jupiter line. I would say, this mm -hmm. is usually big in astrocartography. We look into the Jupiter line. So, mm -hmm. um. We're going to go with, um, since you don't like to call, let's jump a little bit to northern yeah. France. Yes, northern France. Uh huh. Maybe west coast mm -hmm. to where uh -huh. this is uh, Brittany. This is the Brittany yes. area. Uh, uh, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Le Mans, Angers, mm -hmm. Le Rochelle. I don't know if you want. Oh, okay, Angers. So let's mm -hmm. try that. Mm -hmm. So it seems like, yeah, Barcelona. Oh, maybe there on the coast, on the uh, Britannia, uh, the Britannia, I don't know, the coast. Of... Oh, here? Yeah. La Rochelle, yeah. Rhin, yeah. Rhin. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So let's let's take that, mm -hmm. let's change the city here. So that was France. Uh... Mm -hmm. La Rochelle. Mm -hmm. I love the French uh, language. <laughs> cool. Okay. So let's see what happens to Jupiter. Jupiter is still in the sixth house. So you're not going to feel any different. That's the thing. So we might need to do something a little bit more drastic instead of back to <laughs> Europe, maybe away from That's... Europe. Uh -huh. um, let's see. You send me to Alaska when it's so cold. <laughs> well, that would shock me. <laughs> yeah, we I wanted to. Be... I see Fel Finland. <laughs> maybe to maybe here in the north. Um, Stop for uh, Sweden. Because this is yeah, because this is your north node. What you need to face mm. is more your north node placement. So if you want to fulfill your purpose. Uh -huh. I would say follow this Jupiter line with your North Node. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. okay, I'm not saying uh -huh, yeah. go. I'm, uh -huh. You have a choice. You always mm -hmm. have a choice. But take, see how it feels. Like, you know, you can. Yeah, when Sweden you travel... is a wonderful country. Um, I love the country. There's a... I have nothing okay. against. So the closest city here is Oregrin. Ah, Oregrin. Okay, let's try that one. I've never heard that. <laughs> 
I've heard it. Yeah, I've heard of it. It's uh, okay. Let's change this one first. Okay, Sveti, yeah, Sweden. Um, how do you do that? Edig and there we go. Uh huh. I think I put in. Okay, charge, and I'm gonna descendant node. Let's see how much it changes. I'm gonna do the actual mm -hmm. other ones today instead of a basic yeah. chart. It's interesting, yeah. What changes now? Um, okay, well we still have the similar placements as your birth chart. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. And not so that means changing so much. <laughs> um, but I... at least mm -hmm. well, at least it's uh yeah, because I think that's um we'll keep we'll keep going, we'll keep going. Mm. Uh so we'll, what we'll do is somewhere cool but not too much uh let's see where the jupiter line flows because there are you said you were kind of not with how do you feel about canada mm. <laughs> no <laughs> um yeah depending when i find a nice community i don't want to be alone in the countryside i want to, to connect also to people and I does it matter no... does it matter if they are um, english speakers and german there's a no. there's a yeah okay so here it would it be advantage because i'm already speaking english so that would be a big advantage to connect <laughs> because i already know the language Okay, there is a uh, German community here where I live. Really? <laughs> Just to let you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we'll we'll take a look at. Yeah, but my... you know what? Even here in Panama, I'm not searching for Germans. I'm just search for nice people. It has not to be Germans. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, that's uh, fine. Um, I'm open for any kind of people. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see what we have here. Um... Okay. Cranbrook. This is this is the province I'm in. So it's right here on Cranbrook. Where are you? Oh, interesting. You are Edmonton. there. You I'm in Edmonton. Me. <laughs> yeah, you I'm in Edmonton. So let's take a look. Cranbrook is the closest to the Jupiter line here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change it a bit. It's not. Oh, sorry. It's in the my home province where I used to live. It's in British Columbia. Uh, let's see how much it changes. I want to see all the lines. The Senate node still about the same. <laughs> I cannot. Like, uh... How to say this... I cannot uh, get rid of my destiny? <laughs> no, it's still going to be the same. No, no, no. It's still going to be the same like energies, but it, where they're going to be at is going to be slightly different. Um, I think that I think that when you follow your when we follow the Jupiter node, I think it's it's saying that yeah, maybe it's um I don't know. I feel like every time we follow the Jupiter. But why don't we follow instead the north node instead of Jupiter? I know that it's not favorable in certain cases. Um, but let's see here. Because your north node is always linked closer to your Pluto. And Pluto is a very heavy energy. It's about power struggles, all those kind of mm -hmm. things. But when you grow through that energy, when I have Pluto Sun conjunct, I know how to work with Pluto energy. Mm -hmm. Um, because I just know I just I had to learn how to do it. I mean, it's it's mm -hmm. powerful. It makes you powerful. Mm -hmm. Lonely, mm -hmm. but powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry to scare you, but uh Yeah. And not comfortable, but <laughs> powerful. No. no, it's absolutely not comfortable at all. We, I have a, I have a, I have had a lot of dark night of the soul, yeah. ego death, ego death, um, lots of ego death, lots of it. It's still happening. It's still happening. Yeah. It's just ongoing. It's just like, it's like, it's like the universe is going like, 
You need to refine yourself, Mm -hmm. refine yourself. Yeah. Uh Um, you're not open to Russia. So that's, we don't have to go there. You don't have to suffer. I'm just saying Mm -hmm. about Asia. I'm, I love Russian people, but I cannot imagine to live there or to learn the Russian language. (laughs) Okay. So somewhere, so somewhere comfortable, but also still challenging. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Um, I think that if we, hold on, let's see where the Jupiter line meets with uh, North Node still. Uh, What color has the North Node? North Node is this one right here. Um, I don't know if you can see it right there. Ah, it's a black line. Uh-huh. Ah, okay, that is a symbol. Yeah, this one's Pluto, mm-hmm. the one that looks like Pluto. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, so the north node is... Mm-hmm. Oh, but you don't want... Okay, this is north of Norway, Svalbard. <laughs> but that's going to be like Pluto there as well. Your mm-hmm. your Jupiter line is not there. So anywhere you go where there's a Jupiter line, you're pretty much following it like in your chart. But why don't we look at... Hmm, actually, you know what? Why don't we go further south? Oh, what is that line there? What is that? Oh, that's the Pluto line. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go here. How about New Zealand? Ah, okay, we'll try New Zealand. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Nice. Far from everything, but nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. Wellington. Wellington. Okay, that must be the that must be the cap. No, that's not the capital. Is, Auckland. Uh, um, Sorry. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but Wellington. I uh, I yeah. the name I know, but, <laughs> but how to get to oh. New Zealand? That is really <laughs> so far from Panama is. Oh my goodness. I know, I know. Uh, really now. But these are just we're just we're just going through it. We're just browsing. Yeah. That's all we're doing. Um I'm not gonna connect the other ones now. I'm just gonna And then no, I was checking before I went to Panama. I was uh-huh. also checking Australia and New Zealand, but it was so hard. Uh the Always, how to say in English? I I think I get no p- permission to live there. I could not, uh, as a self-employed, you need a lot of money to come mm. into the country, and I w- it was just not possible because it was also interesting. Especially New Zealand is wonderful from the nature. It's a very nice country. Mm. Yeah. I feel like we should do something else. Every time we follow the your Jupiter line, you're going to experience pretty much the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, why and... don't we look at your birth charts? Let's look at Mercury because I feel like that's a big thing for you. Let's mm-hmm. go with your Mercury line because mm-hmm. it's about communication for you, right? You want mm-hmm. it where it's somewhere where it's opened. Yes, um, and where I feel really home and accepted, and yeah, I don't know. I always find good people, but yeah. Sometimes. I think that if you, you know what? Let's follow your. Let's follow the moon line. Actually, if you feel it's more, if you feel it's more at home, we can still do stuff with the moon line. Let's go with that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. where's the moon line right here? New York, um, that's Chicago right there, mm-hmm. but it's it crosses over your Jupiter. I mean, your mm-hmm. it crosses over the Pluto line. You see that? Mm-hmm. It's, there's an intersection right there. You see that? So uh-huh, around, yes. yeah. So that means mm-hmm. that it's going to feel like it's Moon. You feel at home, but there's also going to be this. I mean, it's going to intersect at some at some point. But if we were to isolate the Moon itself, um. see where else well, that's the moon line second um, let's go back here okay yeah maybe england england yes 
if we go further into the moon or the okay north what's part in of here uh, france again oh what's here hold on one second if we go with your moon and your sun line together close to it you can go to Okay. these areas shetland What is this? Shetland. I only yeah know these Shetland uh, ponies, these uh, little horses. Okay. Well, this is close to that area. So we'll go as far north as we can <laughs> to Unst in Scotland. This is Scotland. ah, Scotland. Yeah. So we'll see what we find there. Oops. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's um it should show up. Oh, it's not showing up in this one. That's weird. I see it once there. Maybe if we zoom in, what's that? Balta sound. Okay. It's not showing up here. Did I type that correct? Once yeah, it is. Okay. Um Balta sound. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yes, Okay, let's see what we find. Scotland. I just want to see what it looks like in terms Yes, of like just. uh, okay, it's still pretty similar. Um however. Hmm. Yeah, you already, I want to, um, it's not releasing your moon. I want to feel like, I feel like it should be releasing the moon into something else. Like I want it to move. Let's go into, actually, why don't we go into, what would happen if we went into the west part of the moon line? So if we went to the Faroe Islands, Oh my goodness. well, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just like, let's see what we have. you sent Let's see me what into we have. the cold. <laughs> I know. I'm. I'm not saying go into the cold. Yeah, but you know. Oops. Uh, let's see. What's the okay? Anywhere to push home. it's not so big Okay. <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm doing? You know what I've been doing all this time? uh -huh. I've been oh, I've been looking at your needle chart, that's why. I haven't been going to the relocation chart. Oh my god. Let's go back to let's go back to Barcelona. Ah, My bad. It's uh -huh. this okay. is my I think I've been I've been making a mistake this whole time. I was just like, why is it looking the same all the time? I'm like, that's not okay. possible. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh Like, sorry, no, no, what I'm saying is that um, if I, I, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go back to Barcelona. -huh. mm -hmm. And what I'm going to, this one right here. I kept looking at your needle chart. I should have been clicking on this one. Ah, recon Dum recon dum. Ah, uh -huh, okay. Okay, well, that's kind of what we did. Okay, so we did do that. What was the second city we went to? Um, do you remember what it was? After Uh, after Barcelona. in France? Was it in France? Ah, uh, yes, La Rochelle, La Rochelle, Thank you. I think. Okay. Then I'm going to click on this one. Then I'm going to go to the <laughs> oh, Silly me. There I go. Big change. Mm -hmm. Big change. Okay. Uh, your son is now in the sixth house. Uh, so you have a lot of vitality with your health there. Relationship-wise, it's still going to be the same, but it's a little bit stronger. You won't be as, you won't be as kind of, you how you present yourself won't be as in, you know, uncertain. That's the one of the big things here. Um, you won't have that much power struggles with career vocation there because it's away from your north, away from your MC. Your the Pluto is away from that. Um, It's still going to be the same North Node. It's going to be in the last, what you call, in astrology, we call this the critical degrees. It's going to be, well, not really critical, but it's closer to the end of Libra. So you're going to be, you're going to, maybe you're going to feel a pull towards more of a North Node stuff, like the Libra energy, right? Instead of your Aries, right? But at least you'll still be, you'll still feel like kind of like, it'll still feel a bit like home there. 
your wounding will not come through family. It'll come through relationships, unfortunately. <laughs> It'll come through like romance stuff with children as well. Okay. Um, it's a little bit stronger there. So let's go back to what was the third city? Do you remember the third city? Uh, that was in uh, Sweden, I think. Örebrin. Ah, uh, Örebrin. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, That's yeah. right. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Thank you for your patience. No, I'm just saying, oh, Barcelona is now like <laughs> disappearing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here the houses have changed. So that means that oh you'll you'll definitely shine in in Sweden. You'll see the sun mm -hmm. right here. It's right at home. It's right at home in fifth house. Mm -hmm. So you'll just basically feel like you can be yourself. Mm -hmm. Especially with children, romantic relationships. Uh your Jupiter is now in the is now in the seventh house. So a lot of a lot of like um yeah it looks like sweden is a good thing for you power struggles your north node will follow through with your mc so that means your career would be based on what you do with your north node meaning what's your path forward remember bacchus was there i remember mm -hmm. seeing bacchus there so bacchus is about indulgence overindulgence but appreciating mm -hmm. your own work right so mm -hmm. you finding that strength in your inner work and the, appreciating the The fruits of your labor. That's Bacchus, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, I see a lot of uh, different... Your career might change a little bit, or rather you might mm, not necessarily change, but your a perception of it might change. As usual, mm -hmm. it's still going to be square, your Saturn. So that means it usually means that it's uh, you're transformed through the changes that you make at least internally in terms of your own individuality, you'll tra mm -hmm. still transform through that. But it's not pertaining mm -hmm. to your career itself, like a vocation, not communities, which is the 11th house. Mm -hmm. So it's going to feel slightly different. Um, you'll be able to communicate your emotions a lot more, for sure. Okay? You won't be hidden. Uh, you'll still mm -hmm. have to work through how you actually understand things, your perception. Your wounding will be sort mm -hmm. of an Thing there but you'll it's more from what you do with in your own private life but in terms of like feeling like you can open up to communication be yourself and express yourself you know and go for someone who's similar maybe similar energies as you or someone or the opposite someone who's actually willing to challenge you mm. uh foreigners there this is now going to be pluto retrograde you still have the same thing The same energies you carry through but it's going to feel it's going to be more less of, not about career but about foreigners big business itself this is the ninth house higher education your philosophy all those kind of things your belief system your dreams your visions your question your power there however when you follow your north node i like this placement right here north node and mc conjunct mc it means that Your North Node, your North Star is going to be directly focused on where your career is headed as well. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, your Jupiter is expanding those potential relationships, better communication, right? Um, so Sweden sounds like a good, um, not necessarily all of Sweden, but at least mm -hmm. that area. Because if we looked into Sweden here, mm -hmm. we go back here, right? We went to this line right here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, was... This is the south, south part, more the south part of Sweden. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, see? So North Node is going to be your focus there. I think Sweden is your thing. Mm -hmm. And I do. they do speak English, so... Yes, I know they oh. speak very yeah. well. Can you understand I, Swedish I, a little bit? From the Scandinavian Sorry. languages, I know um, Swedish is, for German, the easiest one to learn from... from yes. <laughs> From the Scandinavian languages, I don't know about. I was reading about that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hmm. Can you lite förstå Very... svenska? Mm -hmm. Can you lite förstå svenska? Lite. Yeah, ich kann ein bisschen yeah. verstehen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you get yeah. it. So there you go. <laughs> yes, I got it. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. 
Okay, so I think you, you'll you'll get there. So here you also feel like you're more health is not going to be an issue in Sweden. I don't see here, not yet. I'm not sure. There's always something. There's always something somewhere. Always, but mm. um, but it's not going to be a huge issue mm. um, in Sweden. You'll be able to connect more with relationships there. Okay. Because you have Varuna there conjunct Jupiter. It's going to expand. Varuna is about cohesion, bridging connections, um, being also find relationships that feel a little bit more complete. Mm -hmm. I say mm -hmm. that's what it's saying. That's what it's like reading to me. Um, you will have to then also, however, you have to find ways to regenerate, find your own time. So you don't always need to be like, Connecting, 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 talking, talking, talking. You no, need time to regenerate. I, I need, but this is normal for me. I also need private time or time for myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, again, your your expression of yourself will be open there. Uh, your north node will, your south node stuff will be more like if you deal with your issues of the past, like your history, your heritage, ancestry inner child stuff, even like ancestral ancestral stuff, mm -hmm. uh, that'll help you heal towards your career. Your North mm -hmm. Node is focused there. So I feel like this mm -hmm. line around this area right here is that. So around even like, yeah, Uppsala, Uppsala, mm -hmm. Uppsala would be kind of similar. Okay, Stockholm even. Stockholm is a uh, sort of, but closer up north is where it's going to be more what prominent. Is black, black line? Uh, north think... node right here. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I saw Urubur here, right here. Urugrin, right here. This one. Oh, that's beautiful too. Let's take a look at the uh, pictures. Let's look at... Um... What is the name? Urugrin. Let's see what they have. Let's have some fun. Let's write it in yeah. Swedish. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. A little little villages. And uh -huh. see, ocean is nice. Uh huh. So yeah, just based mm -hmm. on the view itself. I mean, that's. Oh my yeah. goodness, it's beautiful. Ödergrund. Okay, I moved to Ödergrund. <laughs> <laughs> well try ah. it try it give it a taste for a few days or a few weeks yeah, it's up but to it you, looks whatever. nice with the and i i always think i want to this is something what i really want to learn is uh, sailing uh, or be on a boat or maybe it's good for me because you told me also i have not too much uh, water in my chart yeah maybe it's a good way uh to air and water with, water uh -huh, for sure with yeah. the water and you're mm -hmm. on the boat you just see air and water <laughs> nothing yes more. that's right yeah yeah that's right uh, maybe so it's good uh-huh i'm gonna see if you're high. and i love to eat fish <laughs> <laughs> that's cool uh, uh let's see what where is sailing so sailing has to do with apollo and amphitrite I'm going to look at, what is this one? Apollo, Ampetrite, Adonis. Oh my goodness, Sweden. My aunt was now in Sweden and sent me some pictures and was so happy. And she said, oh, I can live here. It's so beautiful here. And I said, yeah, this is really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, but I I'm gonna... also love Panama. I love also my country here. <laughs> Let's take a look at several uh, several asteroids. There's Amphitrite, there's Urania. I want to see where they are in your chart and the transits. I want to see what's transiting, meaning the transiting means like the planets that are actually in right now. Um, and what was the other one? Sorry. Uh, Amphitrite, Sailors, Urania, Adonis, and Apollo. So Adonis is, um, how do you explain Adonis? I know what he was a beautiful young man. <laughs> yeah, he was, um, what do you call this? He was, uh, 
it's about love, discerning love. Uh, yeah, Apollo is shining. It's like the the sun, basically. Um, but Urania was the Urania was the goddess of astronomy and astrology and navigation. Uh, and an amphitrite was the wife of um, of uh, Poseidon, but she was like Mm dumb. She was like she had her own territory. She had Mm -hmm. her like she's all about Mm -hmm. um, independence and. But she became his wife because she does. She's like Artemis. She doesn't like to be chased. So <laughs> let's see what is what it attracts. You know what? I had I had a cat, uh, and I call her Artemis. Is uh, also oh. the goddess of hunting. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have transits here right now, as of today. This is just today. You have. I'm just wondering where you're getting that. Ah, no, that's not it. Your interest in sailing. Okay. Must be something you're transforming through. Um, Adonis is right here too. Adonis is transiting. Mm, I think it's conjunct Pluto. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I'm so hmm. Eventually when Adonis and Urania trans transit your MC, at least in the city of Erdogan, not your birth chart, but this one right here you're going to feel like you might get interested in something like navigation, astronomy, astrology, mapping, calculations kind of things. I don't know if you're into that stuff, but, and South Nodes too, South Node too might be, or at least it might, you might meet people like that. I mean, right now mm-hmm. you're, you're, you're meeting me right, mm-hmm. right here. Urania is conjunct, your is transiting your Nept, your Pluto. Mm-hmm. But you're not in Erdogan right now. You're not there right now. But at the very least, I think that also applies to now. Because if it's like transiting, yeah, that means it's, yeah. So that's why you're meeting me. So this is like the time for that. Um, But once it goes into this MC right here, which is actually currently, it's still, your birth chart MC is not this line. It's actually before Pluto right here. It's somewhere here. So that means that you are, I don't know if it's something to do like with going through your past as well. Like on your birth chart, I'm talking about the chart, your birth chart itself. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. So mm-hmm. it's, um, yeah. So that makes sense why you're mm-hmm. starting to get interest. Not necessarily that you will go into that. However, I notice here, Amphitrite. Amphitrite is in your first house. It's conjunct your Neptune. And you are curious about sailing anyways. So I'm going to take a look at also... I'm going to close this one. I'm going to take a look at... Oops. Sorry, I was like, I don't want people on YouTube to see that. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's go into the same asteroids. And let's go into your... We're going to change it a little bit. Ah, I have to change it back to the, oh, no, your first chart. And I'm going to see what it says on your progression chart. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then with the transits. Uh The progression chart means what I already solved in my life or what I no. Uh, how much you've changed how much you've changed how much has changed yeah Uh, you're still going to have the same energy but it's mm -hmm. going to have a layer to it it's going to change a little bit Mm -hmm. um Ah, so as of today as yeah as as of today you have a more of a cancer feel to you you definitely like the home more environment more you're more concerned about your health Mm -hmm. you know hard work that sort of like mundane sort of like little Mm -hmm. routines having routines security um Mm-hmm. Working through the emotions of your yourself, your identity, but also mm-hmm. being able to communicate more. Mm-hmm. Um, you have here though moon, transiting sun moon right now, not not Venus right here, so it's gonna feel like I don't know if you're having issues. Oh, okay, 
you were having a headache recently? Were you having headaches recently? Mm, headaches, not so much. Not so much. No, no not really. Because no. it's conjunct the moon. So chest area, maybe stomach. I have some just headache. Maybe one day before I get my menstruation. Maybe oh, okay. it's related to the moon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It is. It's uh -huh, yes, because you're right. Uh, it's just one day before, and then the next day, ah, this was why I get the headache again. Like that. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, but the other days, no, I normally not. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, you definitely also have um. Usually it's the it's it's the what you call the personal planets that move quite often. So we usually look at those. Your Mars and your Venus are still conjunct, square your Saturn. So a lot of like communicational I guess blocks. It might feel yes. like yeah, relationships. Yeah. You still yes. go through that. However, yes. your Saturn is still it's it's uh trying to your 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 Neptune and Moon. Um, but now you're you feel like you feel like maybe your uh, how you deal with emotions has a lot to do with how you connect with general people. Like you want to feel at home with them. You want to feel yeah, also I quite try, inspired. Uh -huh. Foreign people as well. You, yes, you get also from your... other cultures living here. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I have recently again a friendship where I was expecting more or put more effort in and. Yeah, and the end is not like I receive nothing back or I'm disappointed again. I'm sometimes I'm, I'm here more ever in my life. I'm since I'm here, I have so much disappointments in mm -hmm. people who let me down, betray me, or cheat on me, or all kinds of things. I have not that in that amount, not in Germany, and the last eight years were here really challenging this is why i'm asking is this a good place here for me to be because always um yeah i have some friends here but it's it cost me a lot or it's a big effort or even two good friends died passed away uh this year i um yeah was uh close to a friend and she died of cancer and yeah, I don't know. It's a lot of loss or people move back to their countries. Then I make a uh, tile, uh, how to say, I make good connection, deep connection. Mm -hmm. I still <laughs> have this friendship. Still. Yeah, they would move. Yeah. They keep, mm -hmm. But they mm -hmm. move out uh, back to mm -hmm. Europe or to the United States. And I kept all this friendship. They're still stable, but they're not here anymore. And mm -hmm. I'm longing to have deep uh, conversations and deep friendships here or really, really friends. Like what is happening if you are have something in the night and you need somebody uh, who to call in the night or mm -hmm. in emergency, mm -hmm. really good friends. <laughs> okay. This is um, always, yeah, a little bit struggling with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can see why you're also wanting to move. You have Jupiter here giving you opportunity to look at a different home, a different environment. Mm. I can see that transiting Jupiter, transiting mm. Uranus, Mars into this one makes it sort of like sudden, like your your neighbors, it feels like sudden changes have happened with, yes, the relationships, but also Mars will eventually go into close to Uranus. So that means there are going to be sudden anger, like bursts of anger, especially like, uh, I would say what it feels like with relationships, um, not necessarily relationships all the time, but it'll feel like there's a sort of like annoyance or you maybe you have to assert yourself a little bit. You have to feel a bit more aggressive. Yeah. So it's going to feel mm -hmm. what you call erratic. That's where it's going to feel erratic with mm. your uh with people particularly with you you have your son in here in your birth chart you have your son in let me look at your chart again 22 degrees sun uh here is 20 yeah it's you're, you're feeling that frustration you're feeling that sort of heightened energy it's where you're also mm. going to your identity is now going to feel like um there are foreign like your transits are usually uh 
external energies outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. But you're going to feel like these maybe people making you angry or you're feeling like anger outside of yourself and you question your identity as well. It's an, it has an effect on your identity. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, particularly with security. When it comes to security, mm -hmm. money, freedom, money is Yes, freedom, self-worth. uh -huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and I feel alone. Also, as a single woman here, it's a little bit challenging. Uh, it's a very patriarchal, patriarchal, Mm-hmm, well, patriarchal. I cannot explain. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, very traditional country. I'm nothing against, uh, but it's sometimes a little bit challenging for me Oh, here yeah. alone. <laughs> So I think, I think that's why you're, were, I think that's why, I don't know, Sweden sounds interesting to me, at least. Um, I Um, can and I'm also wondering... imagine to move here in like uh, uh, we have here so to uh, or what is interested if interesting if I'm selling in case of selling I uh, found two places like is a like a gated community with a good community spirit like you know your neighbors and they have some social events and Um, you have, I feel maybe as a woman more secure in that kind of uh, neighborhood. I could also imagine to move there, but maybe we have to look in this chart of uh, Panama or what is going on here. I don't know. Mm yeah we could definitely yeah good job good job you're actually like ahead of me <laughs> a little bit there i noticed -hmm. No, though I'm... i Yes, oh no but that's fine that's uh, fine I don't want that's to fine interrupt because it's also important what is going on right now, what it is progressive, um, or what, no, progressive chart, what do you say, how you call it? Progression chart. <laughs> progression, progression Yeah. chart, yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense already, yeah. So I noticed though that um, Amphitrite, which is about sailing and navigation, sort of sailing like waters, uh, emotions as well, deep sea stuff, sea salt water, bodies of water, seas, water. Um, Mm-hmm. freedom to choose whether you want to marry or not, that's amphitrite as well. But here you have it in retrograde. So you're kind of questioning that. But I feel like it's conjunct your MC. We're talking like your, this is your natal, this is your progression chart. So how you progress is this is
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I so, can do that more often. Um, yeah, to go to the beach and or snorkeling, especially. I'm also going to look at another chart here. It's called a, this is part of what I do. Sorry, I'm doing through a lot of charts. Sorry, because I want to make Yeah, Yeah, sure. it's absolutely fine. It's good. Okay. It's good. So we, we have here what to call a solar arc chart. And that usually shows, um, it's a little bit more temporary. The, the energies around a solar arc chart feels a little bit more temporary. It's based on mm -hmm. the big events in your life, the, the huge... The things that you feel like you want to take on more because mm. the placements of the solar arc chart directly coincide with your own birth chart. Mm. They move, the planets move in the same direction as your sun. So if your sun moves one this much, mm. everything will also move that much. Mm -hmm. But it's not mm. realistic. It's more about based on your decision making, what makes you mm. happy. So it follows the mm. sun. That's why it's called solar arc. So it arcs mm -hmm. from your sun. Um, mm -hmm. So here, right, it was in Taurus. It's now into Cancer. It was in Taurus, 22 degrees. Your moon is now in your, uh, is in 22 degrees Taurus. So you're so the, you're feeling more at home with your own self, like wanting, to, wanting security. But both of them, like your, before your sun was in Taurus, but now it's in Cancer. So you're a little bit, different it feels like you're different in terms of you it's not really about the money anymore mm. right mm. um and it feels like there's something else that feels like it's really about just connection with not just mm. people but the family someone who's mm. family yeah right? to it's feel home house. to feel home yeah yeah mm. so I'm just looking at this one because I wanted to see where the transits are and the, okay. Ah, okay, here we go. So Urania, there's so many of these planets. So Amphitrite is still in the first house. Um, Urania is probably still in the same as like your birth chart. Adonis is probably the same degree as in your birth chart. Yeah, so I think a lot of it has a lot to do with this. A lot of stuff that you're interested in is in the sailing stuff. However, I see here. Oh, that's the no. That's just collective North Node. That's that's something external. It's more about your internal stuff. Ah, okay. So you definitely are working through uh, understanding, transform, transforming your past life issues. Hmm. So you're going through this transformation. It's gonna. It feels like that at least. Mm. Right. The things with these besides your own birth chart, any of the other charts that have we looked at, the progression and then the solar arc, those tend to feel more like a psychological, emotional sort of like what needs to change. Um, they're very similar. But you're still going to have the same feel as you had before. You're still going to be like the Taurus. You're still going to feel like it's about money, but it's not as strong. You're growing, mm -hmm. right? You're evolving, mm -hmm. right? So um, what else? I think that's, oh. Let me talk. Hold on one second. In your birth chart. Oh, that's why it feels blocked to you. Your the seventh house, just like your first your first house, are it's what's called it's they're intercepted houses here. Intercepted houses in astrology means that they are they feel blocked. Mm -hmm. It feels like your own sense of identity, your sense of worth, your well, sort of worth, mm -hmm. but your sense of identity, your mm -hmm. your body even mm -hmm. tied to your relationships, tied to any sort of relationship that you have especially with like shadow stuff, shadow work, things mm -hmm. that you need to, when people mirror things to you, mm -hmm. like they mirror, it's something that feels blocked to you. It feels like, when I say blocked, I don't necessarily mean that you're not going to experience any relationships or you're not going to have this freedom or sense of, mm -hmm. you know, identity or sovereignty or like sort of like, this is me kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I think there's a reason why you're feeling the block is because, mm -hmm. Your soul chose to be here to 
learn through the process of identity itself. I think for you, the big one is identity. So, yeah, it's almost like a kind of a, a good identity crisis. <laughs> yeah. So if it, relationships are good, but at the same time, I feel like instead of looking externally, you look internally and then whatever comes along naturally will be like a bonus. It'll flow with that. I hope that kind of makes sense. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So cool. Um, Mm -hmm. there's always a question I figure out who I am and what I want to show into the world what what uh, parts of me or what what I want to share whatever yeah something yeah like that okay mm -hmm. so let's take a look at you said earlier panama where's panama it's yes right here, right? i don't know maybe it's my directly my town buquete uh there um it's a little bit more uh, david i see on the border on the more to the left side Yes, David, and it's a little bit more up Alto Buqueta, I see already there. I'm living okay, got in it. the mountains. Uh -huh. uh, I want to see what line that's in. So that's your, it's closer to your Mars line. Okay, a lot of intense energies. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, it's more towards the west of the... It's farther from the moon line. Mm. So had you moved to a different city, like say no, in San Jose. In... Yeah. No, this is Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. I know, but if had you moved mm -hmm. there, if you had no. actually done that, no. if you were to actually move there, it would feel a little different. You don't feel more like that home sort of feel. Ah, because um, some people, I uh, know some uh, Germans there, they invite me. To live uh, is more close to San Jose, and okay. they have a property, and there are a lot of nice people around, and they have a nice community from all over the world. And they always, you have to come here; it's much better here. Come here. <laughs> okay, how did that feel? So, have you actually been there? No, I have. This I want to do. This is uh, I still want to do to visit them. And um, yeah, they they have a huge property that you can sell your house and build your or casita here and you will have more connection to people and yeah I to look at is that did i miss yeah that? it was right maybe it's not it's too small uh or D david then okay david uh, is like 30 kilometers for me sure so yeah okay. it's not far as a half hour to drive Okay, so let's see. I'm going to use these other ones to see what we have. I'm going to include the transits for this one because of today. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, you have a... Um, your north node is well yeah there's an inner power inner power sort of issue like power struggles maybe any sort of dark stuff like potential for it's almost like you're when you're here you feel this um like you have to hide yourself or rather mm -hmm. you don't know how to hide yourself and there's a part because it feels like you want to connect and you don't know it's like yeah so um let's see oh okay that's why you're feeling that <laughs> a lot of your relationships are being they're you're quite tested you're quite test you're, you're you have a lot of uh, lessons that you're learning specifically with yes. anger and real relationships and really uh -huh. like really like blending in and kind of like mm. having that solid foundation, that relationship. It feels like you're fighting relationships uh, and issues of the past are coming through. You're feeling of sovereignty, you're feeling of like independence, freedom, 
Mm. Wounding from that comes through. And wounding from the communication comes through here too. Sedna is right here. I didn't talk about Sedna before, but Sedna is learning to forgive and mm. let go. Absolute forgiveness, mm. right? Mm. But it also is mixing mm. in the realities of the past with the realities of now mm. and sort of like releasing and I guess you could say dissolving. Sedna mm. is water, but mm. also kind of retaining what needs to be kept because mm-hmm. Sedna rules fat as well. Sedna rules fat mm-hmm. and blubber. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, kind of letting go of the expectations of what others say and mm-hmm. what your upbringing says. And really letting it go by accepting it for what it is exactly. Sedna is the farthest planet in the solar system. Mm-hmm. This, the farthest, the, the furthermost planet today discovered. Mm-hmm. So... She's all about mm. bringing in, bringing in past. Literally, we're talking like past, like two thousand years of knowledge of mm. and understanding, going back to things that are more natural, mm. Um, mm. and really dissolving things and really, and learning from that. She's kind of like mm. Pluto. She's about death, but not really. She's about letting go, release, relinquishing, forgiveness, really forgiveness mm. too, mm. and knowing that there's uh life is not the end kind of feel yeah. like sedna feels like that so um but again that kind of like you're experiencing that now and you yes sort of and have... i'm challenging really i do ho'oponopono and other things really oh, okay. um yeah forgiveness is uh uh is the issue here yeah have you tr- have you have you tried um somatic breath work Yes. Yeah. Yesterday oh, I made a session. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I do a lot do you, of breath work. Uh-huh. Did Did I tell you about uh, Teal Swan's book on shadow work? No. no. It's called It's called uh, What's that? The completion process. You go into inner ah. child trauma. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Um. There's also stuff that I don't know if I'm able to do it yet, but. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe if I'm called to do it, I'm thinking. But that's why I got into mediumship. Like I'm I'm, I'm a medium. Well, not yet. Mm-hmm. I'm practicing it. Um mm-hmm. but I think I do more than mediumship. I do channeling, I think. Because mm-hmm. I get like these random images, like or these yeah. uh-huh. what is that? Whose memory mm-hmm. is that? What is that? Uh-huh. <laughs> I literally go through the past and I'm just like, wow. I was in I actually channeled my own past life several times but the one I did that was really really like powerful was I was wearing the Lederhosen stuff I was a kid Uh I was like Uh a kind of like a dirty blonde brown brunette Mm -hmm. boy Mm -hmm. and I fell off a bridge oh Mm. and I was really scared when I went through the past Mm -hmm. life like this was like I was channeling with my uh, with a friend of mine she mm-hmm. was also channeling. She saw what I saw. Uh, and it was yes, amazing. It's like, that. wow. Yes. Mm. I, I also had this experience. Yeah. With mm. somebody similar. We make a shamanic journey and we are both this. We were both on the same uh, time and had a connection in that time. It was mm-hmm. very interesting. <laughs> we are yeah. from both different, with different perspective to live at the same time and know each other it's Mm -hmm. yeah sometimes Mm -hmm. crazy Mm -hmm. yeah so Mm -hmm. um yeah so you it feels like you here in panama you feels like there's um you can't really be yourself have you ever so you said shaman that's cool because you said shamanism so are you practicing shaman because yes, core a long is kind of shaman. time okay. i was doing like 12 years shamanic journeys now i'm not doing so much anymore but i was do uh on sweat lodges and things and stuff in germany but here everything stopped uh-huh because you have like in your birth chart this is not your birth chart but it's how it's transferred over to panama mm-hmm. um i'm interested like ixion he rules the weather hmm he rules it's uh, ixion is about weather patterns uh research um uh, what else is that? Well, technically, Ixion is also about violations and second chances. Second chances. So 
but here it's in retrograde. So it feels like an internal, you're always trying to figure out how do I change myself? How do I change myself? And then you're Yes. kind of trying to release that and you're kind of transitioning all the time. Core is about, core is not, core is about the rhythm of life transition. She's the core rules, um, what do you call that? Coming of age stuff. So transitions, changes. So it ties in with Uranus here, but you also have a transiting Haumea here, but it's in retrograde. So it's almost like you need to always regenerate. Always to regenerate. You're losing But energy. it's so You're losing like energy. I ha I feel here I uh, life just to live here is so takes me so much energy. Yes. I love it. I love it. I love this country. I love the people. Uh, I love this environment. The views I have here is my dreamland. It's a paradise. Okay. Uh, but it's so takes me so much efforts just to keep moving to go keep. my things going is so heavy the energy like i'm always struggling always another things come up another problem another is not like never ending <laughs> it's like Yeah. and this is so uh, so exhausting and that is why i sometimes then think ah, i want to move i want to go and then i don't know if it's just uh, like a flight impulse like a impulse from my nervous system just to light or is is just a place is not good for me Hmm. You know, I wish I wish the the charts here would show like the as this astro click travel thing would show the other planets because if you could get into a country or place where your series if your series was um what do you call this I guess if your series was actually like activated you would feel a little bit Well, series is hmm. series is good because she's about nurturing. But the thing about series is also about gains and losses. She's Mm. about she was series was Demeter. She was the mother of Persephone. Mm. Ah, yes. So she Ah, always had to like yeah. so there's a cycle. She rules cycles. Mm She hmm also rules mm hmm epigenetics. mm hmm So Yes. uh, let's see, what is this trying here? Oh, Okay, it's trying your son. Oh, that's cool. So you resonate a lot with that energy too. Working, maybe working Yes, with grains. I love to work also sometimes in the garden. I have my fruits here, um, my Mm, mm-hmm. pineapples, Mm-hmm. avocados, mango. I love it. This is, Okay. and I was born on a farm. So uh, this Okay. is also a little bit in my genetics. <laughs> and Yeah, it's it's, grounding yeah. me. It's sometimes I'm too much in my head and to have my hands in the soil here. This is grounding me. Yeah. However, yeah, there's a part of you. Yeah. Water is a big thing for you. I think, have you ever tried hydropods? Mm. Hydro, what is uh, Hydropod. ah, this uh, floating floating tanks, or what Uh, is it? no. Hydropod gardening. Ah, ah, It's working with water. Yeah, but it's in water instead of soil. ah, ah, yes, it is. I, I, uh, yesterday I saw an advertising where it was like an old. Uh, thing and uh, was a guy who was explaining how this uh, in Panama about hydroponic here. Uh huh. I was oh, this is so interesting. <laughs> I Yeah. yeah Yeah. I yeah would it be interesting for me. Um yeah I also have this green thumb. <laughs> uh, Yes, you have a... Okay, good. Yeah, because I feel like... Yeah, because I feel like you can work with that energy. Your north node, right? It's 24 degrees here. It's... uh, What is it? Square... Orcus... Ah, Vesta. It's It's a challenge for you to... commit and be uh, following your own inner sacred fire Mm -hmm. Yes, that's here Vesta I'm always distracted, like then is this, uh, like but things are not working yeah or I have to replace on this and I'm still always, yeah I'm the thing things about what I really like or love to do and then I got confused and I, I lose, lose always my focus again.
<laughs> that's okay. And then the issues with my identity, what I should concentrate now, what I um yeah this. Yeah, you in Panama, you're. You, but the thing is, or Vesta is where you're also most protected, because uh -huh. Vesta rules Kundalini. Uh -huh. Vesta rules Kundalini. So does so does Uranus, but for you, Uranus is retrograde. So I feel like your Kundalini energy, your your ability to adapt to, and attack that ties in with Core here in Ixion. Those three, there's mm -hmm. a reason why they're there when you were born. Your soul mm -hmm. chose to be in this sort of like, or I think I'm going to learn how to harness my life force energy, my chi, my mm -hmm. kundalini through, you know, really learning. It's mm -hmm. all in Scorpio. Because it's in Scorpio, it feels like you have to not only work at it, but really figure out how to dig deep, so deep. Like we're talking like, I'm going to swear here, okay? Like, so, like motherfucking like deep. Like mm -hmm. internal, like, you know, we're talking like inner power, inner child self, trauma, abuse, mm -hmm. all those things mm -hmm. going deep into that stuff. So you, you're, yeah, you're, you know that I'm a hypnotherapist, so I love to go deep with my clients. I love but to for go yourself. Deep what about for yourself? Yes. For, yeah. For me, okay. for myself too. Of course, this okay. is my, like, I'm interested in that to go deep and okay. deep healing to go to the origin where it starts yes to go also back to childhood stuff to go yes. back to trauma yeah yeah, yeah. good have mm -hmm. you but have you um do you do cold showers yes oh oh okay. every good. day uh is I, I don't like it in the first moment <laughs> i really have to force myself but uh yeah. yeah, I today I took already my cold shower. Yes. Okay. So you heard about Wim Hof? Yes. So you, yeah. do you do his method? Do you do it through him? I did it for a while, but mo now I more make more um, a practice of somatic breath work, like a daily okay. practice. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. it's more fitting my needs right now. I was switching, okay. but I was sure. also yeah. doing Wim Wim Hof a while for a while okay. uh -huh. what, I, what what i love about the what it helps me with is uh because i do it every day uh -huh. um, and is the breathing not only brings oxygen to the brain you know this but it mm. also opens up the veins yes yes uh-huh uh -huh. and it's it's like a natural painkiller love it uh-huh and at the same time it alkalizes the blood yes uh, so like today I did nine rounds. It was like, I love uh, when I do a lot of rounds. I yeah. love it. Then you go uh -huh. into the cold shower and it feels even colder, yeah. but it's like, uh -huh. you, you're, you know, it trains the body. So it you're trains, already doing it. Yeah. yeah. Have you done uh -huh. ice baths? No, no. I, okay. I, yes, I did. But a long time ago in, in Germany, okay. in the winter time, I love uh -huh. to go to a sauna and that would be, it would be nice oh, in well. Sweden as well. And yep. after you came out of the sauna, you the, directly go the into this ice uh, yes. uh, or this cold water tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar. It's not ice, yeah. but it's pretty cold. Yeah, and they do that. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, do that in Russia. I, I like that. I, it's not like yeah. and I love that in the moment, but it's so good for me. You feel it's, alive. Uh, you feel alive. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. to, you yeah, feel alive and I was yeah. already thinking because I don't like the cold but in Sweden with this sound it is what sometimes I miss it is the only thing with in winter which I really love is sauna is a mm -hmm. sauna to go mm -hmm. and uh, between the cold and the heat to switch and yeah this is mm -hmm. really good for my health is really good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's good so that's good awesome um, yeah i go sometimes you... uh, take a sh uh, uh, like a sh taking a shower in a, a river which is close to me and the water is also very uh, for me very cold because outside is warm and in is also like oh so refreshing um yeah, yeah. to go and do the, to have, so, have a bath in the river i want to see if um I want to see also, I'm going to test something here because I've never done this. I don't usually do this, mm -hmm. but I'm going to take a look at the fixed stars. 
for uh, Panama I don't want to use or yeah for Panama I don't know if I should use fixed stars where you are mm, because I want to see what was that fixed star uh, or hold on let me go back let me go here Oh, what is that one? Hold on one second here. Ah, Ophiocus. If it's a weird name, Ophiocus. Ophi. Ah, here we go. I want to see. I'm gonna take off. Okay, there you go. So let's go with that. And these are fixed stars that show me uh, the, what do you call this? The constellation of Ophiuchus, which was a whale. Let me double check though. Mm. These fixed stars tell us about our past lives, ah, like one time galaxy. I was reading something that it would be uh, the 13th um, birth sign that we have not 12, we have 13th. I was oh, that, reading that. That, that's that doesn't, and that is it this doesn't one. make sense. Yeah. Oh I, I yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You're right. One time I came across something like that. Oh. I think Ophiuchus is with water. Ophiuchus. Hold on. Let me double check here. Uh, is it actually, or maybe it's Delphinus? Okay, let's go mm. with Delphinus. Delphinus is about swimming, having this chart in your. But I think it's Ophiuchus. Let me double check my own. One second here. Because um, I've done some work on some fixed stars. I'm actually going to take a course on galactic astrology, which is mm -hmm. like, we're talking like not just, not just past life, inner child, mm -hmm. not just ancestral, but galaxies galaxy yeah and it's like wow. uh, um i think it's ophio so let me double check here actually you know what i'm just gonna open it i think it's in oh no it's not that it is one second it'll come to me Ah, if I go s open this up, it was in the constellation of Cetus. That's the one. Got it. Perfect. Cetus. This is the one. Cetus is the whale. This talks about how in the past life if i want to see what it is in your chart because i want to see so i'll take that out oh i'll go back here i want to see where it's what house it's in in your chart oh what am i doing Ah, uh, no, we'll stick with this chart right here. We'll stick with this Panama chart. That's fine. Because uh, it'll show me what... Uh... Okay, that's fine. Oh, Mankar is a big one. Hmm. Let's skip. Let's take off. Let's take off this one. Mankar is a big one. Uh huh. Okay, here we go. So it was in your the fixed stars was in your seventh house. A lot of it is in your sixth house. Seventh house is a big one right here. Mankar is in your eighth house. So for you, transformation in a past life. There was a one recent one you were in that past life in Mercury contract Mercury H here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, kind of not not that recent, but maybe over. When I say recent, I mean like 
How wait, hold on. Do you know your do you know numerology? Do you know your um Yes. what's I'm in your uh, 33 your your what's your life path? uh, 33 Oh, you've been around for a long time. <laughs> you've been for a long time. yes Like yes uh, yesterday I was talking with a friend and she has uh, okay. also a master number number Yeah. and that comes with some extra issues <laughs> Yeah, mine is eleven. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> oh But my yours goodness. is the higher master number, Yes, so you've been yes, around for a long yes. time. Yesterday Okay. I met the uh, twenty-two, and today eleven. <laughs> Sorry. Funny. <laughs> but um yeah. I can sense that you can understand me. Like you read through this and you understand me. So this is this is the thing about being in love for a long, 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 long time.